Hey everybody, this is Rido, and we are back with another recording of Contrast. Let us continue. So we are playing the role of the princess ch running away from the spider here. Uh, we had already defeated an ogre, and somehow the ogre then just turned into a spider fight, which I don't feel was particularly fair. I am running at my best of speeds. I just died from fall damage it seems like and haven't ever done that before. Ah, good. I somehow hit a checkpoint so now I can just jump in these spider webs and hit A a couple times to break them. They break real easy. And we drop the boulder on it. And some more boulders fall on it. And some more boulders fall on it. Finally, she found Fred. He was all wrapped up like a present for the giant spider's girlfriend. He was dreadfully embarrassed about having to be rescued again. He really loved the princess. The princess decided he was cute. Fortune, the king told him about a dragon that he could slay in order to win the princess's hand and stop being so embarrassed. So Fred marched off to the mountaintop of the dragon, singing a brave song very quietly. After a few days, the princess got to wondering why her dad kept trying to give her away. That too. But she was worried about <laughs> Fred. So she went off to find him. So, this is obviously the story of the father being told here. He keeps trying, he sees himself as the brave knight, but it's the, I suppose, the princess, the as in the wife, and the always has to save him. To back. There were rock slides and fiery chasms, but she was very brave and nimble, just like you. She wasn't going to be put off by a few deadly dangers. Hmm. Up and up she climbed. When she got cold, she thought about the hot buttered muffin she would make once she got Fred home. Do you still like muffins? I love muffins. The princess hoped Fred liked muffins. Quite a lot of this game now is, is turning into this. Hmm. This should have probably been the very first thing we did in the game. This is way more platforming than we ever saw before. Hmm. This is training me to to actually be able to gain some skill, but there's still some problems with just the control mechanics. There we go. Are there any more any more of them coming? Yes. There we go. When the princess got to the lair of the dragon she was not very surprised to see Fred hanging from the roof of the dragon's cage. Hmm. So let's just free Fred and leave. Why do we have to fight the dragon? So she taunted the dragon until it roared its fiery breath at her. Oh, I gotta use the fiery breath to... to free Fred. Seems like Fred would be burnt at this point with all that fiery breath. This isn't too bad. This should have been the first boss fight. 
And so the princess and Fred lived happily ever after. Fred never had to go on another adventure again, and they had hot buttered muffins every morning. There is another version of the story where the princess flew off on the dragon's back to have a life full of adventures, but that's for another day. Yay! Act two, the stuff that dreams are made of. So, get to the circus tent. So I think we're just gonna run to the circus tent and see if the father gets shot again. <laughs> or if Don is going to, I mean Dee Dee is gonna hear anything new in the story. That was intense. That was too much of that. Just too much of that. And I don't see the, any luminaries. I didn't see any luminaries hidden anywhere in this area. Hmm. We are missing two in this level. Hmm. Oh well, we may just miss them since I don't really have any other idea of where to look for him. Just take one big look around. Popcorn machine is still going crazy. Would have been kind of nice if they could have made mini games for these. And that would have been nice. It is a little extreme for as small a project as this game seems. And we looked over here, and there are no luminaries, and we got the one over here. So let's go back here and see the cutscene, and then we may be done with Act 2. for my puppet theater, and my pirate ship is sailing the bounding man. So you're a man of your word. Go ahead. Count it. It's all there. Need a hand with your stuff? My apparatuses are very delicate, and I don't like anyone in my workshop. Provide the audience, Mr. Fenris, and I will provide amazement. Mr. Fenris, why are you organizing this circus? I know who your investors are. I promised my wife and daughter I'd clean up my act. But if I don't pull in the crowds for you, those boys are going to put you in the river. Well, no cat and Dee Dee. I wouldn't care much if they did. Ah. So those crowds better come. I didn't talk to him. I didn't talk to Vincenzo. Hmm. Three, turn a blind eye. Okay, so that sucks. I can't run back this way and find those luminaries, or maybe I can, but I'd have to figure out where. Nope, there's no turning back. So there was my opportunity lost to collect all the luminaries. I missed two. That's annoying, uh, so I'll have to probably find a, a guide and play the game all the way up through this point. Maybe if I get all the luminaries in the third act, I can, oh, no wait, there's a chapter select, uh, so I can use the chapter select to go back. That, that'll make it slightly easier, yeah. But we're into Act 3 of 3, so 
two thirds of the game is done. <sighs> I like the gameplay. I like the story. I lo I love the artistic style. I w kind of wish the artistic style was in a different story. I don't think this. I think the story is too dark for what could have just been a happy-go-lucky platformer. Hey! The chest is going to a secret workshop. I can finally talk to him all alone. So, I guess... Did you ever take me with him? Vincenzo. You know, when he travels all around the world. I think the game's so far so good. It's just not long. Hmm. Now we go this way. Follow me. So, I guess I'll just reserve more comment for this game until later. Let's see. We've got a whole new area to somewhat search. This section. Ah. A princess, a tower, a lighthouse. There's always a lighthouse to quote Bioshock. <laughs> that is definitely what that is. This is a joke. Uh, I assume we are going to come enter this area at some point. That would be really bad. Kind of lame if that wasn't the case. At the very least, I think we'll power it. Hmm. Another doorway. Another doorway. Hmm. Really, no luminaries. Hmm. Why DD is so fickle is a good question. I mean, she was desperate to get her father back. It looks like she's gonna be able to get her father back, and now she wants to find her real father. That. Uh, she seems conflicted. Did you want Vincenzo to be your father or did you want the other guy? Hmm. She is right there. So let's see what she's doing. Excuse me, mister. Do you know where Mr. Vincenzo's workshop is? Yep. Everybody knows where it is. It's by the big clock tower. You can't miss it. But good luck getting inside. No one's ever been. Thank you. Come on! Really? Is it really by the clock tower, or did he just purposely endanger her? What's with all this stuff in the back? And this giant stage. And these giant Van de Graaff generators are what they're called. Create static electricity at very high voltages. So it arcs through the air. So she wants me to go, I think, that way. Is that the clock tower? Hmm. Or am I going this way? No, I don't think I'm going this way. Unless that's the clock tower. Oh, it is the clock tower. Interesting. There's only four luminaries in Act Okay, so I wonder if when I only, when I see there's only four and there was 15 in the previous one, that gives me every indication that this is going to be a quick ending. In particular, when we're seeing two have been collected and there's number three right there.
Oops. I think I have to jump from there to the ledge. Uh, this is going to be another one of those situations where I'm going to be, it's going to make me do this multiple, multiple times. There we go. I lucked out there. I got lucky on that, no question whatsoever. And then I missed that jump if there was anything in there. So it seems like the mother might be going for Vincenzo more than anything else. And looking at these power panels, I wonder if I need to energize every single one of them. Well, let's see, we went down that path, and here is the last collectible right there. Four of four, I wonder if I need all four to accomplish what I'm trying to accomplish. Ah, so this is a pathway back here. Gee, if there was some kind of like shadow enemies to fight, if there was a fight mechanic in this, uh, or something. Just maybe more collectibles if luminaries were going to be just, there was 150 in the world all over the place and it was close to like playing Pac-Man. Just give me a little bit more to do in this world. It's very well designed. There's just nothing in it. Very much like Ethan Carter, too, except for at least this game had enough sense not to have what was probably a minute and a half of walking through an empty forest in certain places. Anyways, let's continue the story since we have all the luminaries. Get into the secret Vincenzo. workshop. I hope you brought some luminaries with you. So it needs two luminaries. Let's see. Look at this. This is weird. Where are we on collectibles? Hmm. Actually, quite missing quite a few of them. Hmm. So we have a ball that goes up and hits the drum. We got a ball that goes up and hits that. And I think we're going to come in through this other side. There's no collectible here. This is just a place. Hmm. And there's nothing here. So I think this puzzle's too early. Hmm. 
and then I don't believe there's another puzzle over here. This is just the door we're trying to open. Ah, and a ball. So we'll leave the ball alone for a moment. What is the deal with the cats? The Vincenzo's amazing solar machine. Power. So what are we trying to do? There is something that pops out of the ball right there. It's like a human. Right here, this ball facing forward here. Something pops out of that. Look at how few planets are in this. This, uh, this is called an orrery. O R E R Y. But there are cool things. Hmm. Um, what are we trying to do here? I think this is all about manipulating the ball. Well, that just pushed it out. Hmm. And I assume we're trying to get the ball over here for a reason. Where'd the ball go? Now the ball is right here. Yeah, I guess if we get it up to that point, that's the goal. would be nice if this game actually made the goal a little clearer put that down shift out the you can see a definite problem here in which they planned on doing something that uh, they planned on doing several things instead of getting really good uh, at doing several things they they've effectively gotten not as good at they didn't polish anything this is what I'm trying to say Maybe I can do that. Yeah, right there. Ball. Pick that up. Shift out. <laughs> the platforming here is not great. The the ball mechanics, the cube mechanics that we only used in one area is not polished. There we go. Hmm. So 
So this puts it in a pretty good place. If I could just get up there. The only real problem is now I can't jump. So if I drop it here, does this help me any? Yeah, I'm seeing it. There we go. I think I got it right where I want it. <laughs> it would have been helpful instead of just saying getting into get into the workshop if it had said instead something along the lines of move the ball from this point to that point. Alright, so I believe this is really just now a matter of me getting up to where I want to go. There we go. Easy enough. The fact that it figures out where I'm supposed to jump out is probably hand coded for each location. This, this game needs an engine like Portal. It needs just like shadows in a world and to let people go crazy about what they could actually do instead of being tightly controlled. Solar machine elevation reset. Maybe have a story mode that's as long as this and then just a random world generator. Half-Life 2 type mod stuff. Here's... what? What? Is this a famous statue? This guy bending over suffering with what looks like... Is that two ladies? Stepping on him? Man being crushed by his, his two ladies? I mean that seems a little bit right on the nose. Here it looks like a Terminator hand. This is the model of Back to the Future, which I have done a series for Back to the Future the game, so go check that out. There's some there is some good like references being hidden in here. What's this collectible? Science picture, Salt says. Okay. Which collectible is that? That is far away. I must have missed like an entire section. Uh, I did believe this is a generator or something. It would be nice if you could click on it and read them. A microscope, of course. Hmm. We have another Van de Graaff generator. Another microscope, another telescope. The same statue. Again, a spinning baseball. Looks like a baseball. A. I don't know what that would be. It looks like the Dharma Initiative from the TV series Lost. When you look at it from that perspective, or just the Dharma symbol, uh, if that's the right name, that is a warp core from Star Trek, the next generation, I believe. That's just a wave. 
there's supposed to be anything more to it, I can't see. Or like a roller coaster or something. Hmm. So you can definitely see these guys are at least playing to the nerds with these secret things. Well, in this darkness, I don't think I can just k grab a ledge there. So we'll have to do the puzzle. And we will do the puzzle next time. That's going to be it for this recording. As always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe, comment if you want to, and watch every second of my videos. All that helps me out. If you want to support me, you can click on my name, Rido. On the right will be a blue button that says support this channel. Click it and make a donation. If you want a friend or follow me on basically any social media sites, there's a whole bunch of links down below. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.